Uncle Ron, he's been, he was the one doing all that noise pollution earlier on us. <laughs> oh, he, we could hear it. It was bad. <laughs> well, g'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, the boys broke everything while I was away. Uh, to their defence, the stuff was breaking when I was still here, so... Um, <clears throat> we've been doing this gearbox here, so we've got the housing off it. Uh, we've got to make this little jigger up to pick up that shaft, that one, that one, that one, and that one, all together. Because this lovely design, they don't let you um, pull them out individually. So that's a plate that we borrowed from someone, but that suits the smaller gearbox. So basically I'm going to try and make something similar to that. So I've got my blank bit of plate here, and I'm just going to start drilling holes. And uh, I'll sit you over here somewhere and you can just have a little, a little watch. There we go. Over here and see if she can fit. Um, I need to. I'm gonna need to put it down. Oh, I might be able to get it. It's starting to damage see those O rings there. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. And you know, I just gotta make up the little half moons to go in these collars and then just drill a hole for this shaft here. We'll put a bolt in there and then we've got a mount a lifting lug and fine center. So I'll um, just muck around here for a bit and then I'll bring you back. Well, guys, we've got our um, bracket made. We'll just put the little tags here to lock in. Back again, sorry I had the dead battery on it. It all happens real fast. So we got to use our press, so that was good. We got our housing, all the bearings out of it. We got, go around here, we got, um, got a box full of bearings. We'll get all the numbers off them and Get all new bearings, here's all our baskets for the clutch. And then we got our tranny tree up here. I was just, Ozzy brought this out. I hadn't heard of the term, it's a great idea. So we've got all our clutch packs, how they go in, is how you lay them out. So this is one side of the basket. This is the other side of the basket of the one shaft and then vice versa, just all the way down. So you put your number there, so we've got E, uh, we've marked the end of the shafts. You can see here that one's an F, if you can read it upside down. That one's a C. 
So yeah, hopefully we don't get all lost and confused. Oh yeah, yeah, and all we found, thankfully, other than two bad gears, which we suspected with the bearing failure, that one there, and the other one's here somewhere, but anyway. Oh, this one here, yeah, she's hanging up. So they're the two, two dud gears. Uh, and then out of all the clutch packs, it was just this num up here, wasn't it? This one was oh, a yeah, dead one, yeah. Yeah, yeah up here. So, um, the middle, yeah. So you can see that one there. It's pretty much got um, steel on the my thumbnail there. So it's rubbed, rubbed raw, basically. Uh, how it should look is, it's funny, it wasn't all the clutch plates all the way through. So how they should look is like this one here. So you got this pattern in them. And uh, yeah, and then you got your disc washers, disc, disc plates. And they, um, oh, it's all sticky. Oh, no. And all that is all, you can tell there's no, no wear. Uh, they'll get hot. So up here, where if I can find a crook one, I'll get, um, I'll see that one's really dark. Which I'll go this way in the light. Sorry, you can't see. You see that one's really brown. And that one. Well, that's, the cl that's actually a clutch pack. So yeah, that one's very much stuffed. So yeah, all the, all the baskets look good as far as the teeth. And the inner, inner cage looks good. Uh, what happens is you can get grooves that uh, stick out from the wear and then when the, the clutch packs move in and out they grab but these all look brand new the gears all look fantastic except for the dead ones of course so yeah we're going to um just doing a bit of a list together we'll get all new o-rings and um seals bearings and we'll probably just get the set of clutch packs for this one i'll measure the uh other clutch packs up just to make sure they're gonna they're up to spec um, yeah, so that's that's it there guys. We'll um, do a list and see how we get on. We've got the hydraulic, the uh, hydrostat for your front wheel drive. Uh, that's all sent away, so that's going to take about three to four weeks. So other than that, my little um, jigger worked very good to uh, lift it, my lifting jig. That's it there. So it, it worked really well. Anyway. Hopefully you uh, enjoy a little bit of uh, mechanics and repairing. It's um, turning into a very costly time of the season for us. We're having quite a few things go bang, but that's, uh, that's just the way it goes, isn't it, eh? That's life, as they say. So we um, keep going, and I'm just glad we've got fellas that can um, help us out and hook in and yeah, contribute to the operation. It's really good to see. Well, good afternoon and good day there, everyone. Today, we've just been putting our clutch packs together, and uh, I've got my little platform here. So we're just been putting them in here. I've got my piston in, and the uh, it's got spring return there. So the circuits. We did that in the press. And we'll put our clutch plaques in and we put the top on and then I'll line it up. I'll show you in a sec how we line it up. And um, yeah, these, these are sort of a completed one here with all, with all put back together. We're given all our, our friction plates you want to have a good bit of oil on because they grab if they're dry. Yeah, I'm just talking. Matt will edit me out, I'm sure. So we just stack them in there and what we've got to do once I get them all in, make sure you get them in the right order too. But what I've got to do once I get them in is then I'll put the, the inner cage on. Oh, cup of you. enthusiasm, Yeah, Brett. I've got a bit of cup of motivation here. Oh, no, no, thank you. I think I've got a Diet Coke in my truck if I need it. Yeah, a bit of oil in my Coke, eh? That'd liven me up a bit. I 
I'm just putting the C-clip in, holds the end. A bit of noise pollution going on at the moment. Sorry about that, guys. Old, old Ronald's cleaning some bits of metal up for us, so it's quite noisy. So I've cooked up some bearings here. So they're the ones I want. Heat that up. And you just drop that on. That's on. I'll let that cool down now. Big bearing to put on now. There we go. And as it cools, it shrinks down. And that one's ready to go. Well, we're progressing here, guys. We're just in the process here. This is a little plate I made up. So we've got to carry all our um, the four clutch packs. And there's another shaft down here we'll put on uh, once we get off the ground a bit because it's a bit longer. So yeah, you've got to put that in to the housing as a unit like that. You can't just put one shaft in at a time. She's all uh, interlocked. back guys it's uh, time to knock off another nice sunset for the day I got Ron here yeah Uncle Ron, yep. Ron. Uncle Ron, YouTube, Ron. Uncle Ron. Uncle Ron. Uncle Ron on YouTube so Uncle Ron he's been he was the one doing all that noise pollution earlier on us <laughs> oh he, we could hear it it was bad anyway he's been we had a fair bit of rust without the radiator mount so 
I'll take you for a wander. But we, we buttoned the uh, tranny up. So this was um, Uncle Ron's job. Uh, we got had a heap of rust on this plate, so we, we chiseled it all up for us, and then we'll paint it tomorrow with some nice John Deere grey. And he did the battery tray, it was all um, corroded really bad, so he chiseled all that out, sanded it, give us some John Deere yellow. Uh, this little frame here, we're getting all new hoses on it, so we've just got the old ones strapped to it, just so we know where they go, we'll mark them. So all new hoses on that assembly. Well, good morning, everyone out there. Today's project is we're going to try and put the housing on. So, we're just trying to get our ducks in a line. Hopefully they're not running off on us today. So the, the tricky bit that we've got to make sure we get right is I'll show you down here, you've got these little shaft ends and there you've got your oil control rings just there, there and there. And what they do is you send oil into that one. So there's a hole on this track and then on this side there'll be a hole in the bottom track. And what happens is when you open your solenoid, it'll pressurise in that gallery or that channel and then go through and then load up yeah, this clutch pack or this clutch pack depending on which one. So they've got to be a really tight fit. So you've got sleeves in that top housing that just slide over that. What you don't want to do is grab that O-ring. Uh, if that O-ring leaks, you're in a world of pain. You've got to pull it all apart again. So we're just trying to get everything lined up nicely so we can um, do that and get it right. went together quite well. We're just talking the bolts up. All our uh, little control rings and shafts lined up perfect. So we're just able to really lower that down very nicely. So we've just uh, got the solenoid now body on. Paul's just been doing that. We've got our preload checked on the couple of the intermediate shafts. And then the next job he's doing is we'll just do the park brake. <coughs> and then we've got to load that up. Check that for preload with shims. Um, I've been over here working on our little tank system. Just uh, crossing over all the hoses. I've <coughs> been putting, you've got these swivel on which are a real pain in the neck. I'll show you here. So they got these swivels and then you you put a little, well, I'll show you, I'll show you up here, this, I've done that, just doing these ones up here now, so we've got this little tool in here, that one, and that goes down in here, and then that pops that, that off, and then the hose pulls it like that, the problem is, that's all good when they're new, they get a bit corroded and rusty and they're a real pain to get out. The other issue is, is when you do do a hose, no one has those type of swivels, do they? So you have to get them genuine and they don't have those ones in stock genuine. So it means you've got to order them and you're a day or two down. So <coughs> They do a uh, adapter here, and then you put that on the end. You just get a hose made up at your hydraulic shop, and all it is is a metric flat face. The beauty with that is it means you can just screw it straight on. So if you do blow a hose, you just undo it there, leave your swivel on, 
and you can go to the hydraulic shop in town, your local supplier, and they'll make a hose up for you then and there, pretty much. So we've been, we've heard about these adapters. We've had trouble to find people that knew where to look to find them. So we've finally got onto them. So I think that could be a game changer now for the hoses. So that's what I've been working on. And the other thing I'm going to do is all your just come down here. All your genuine hoses have a part number here. So what I do is I'm going to stamp that into this one because these are just aftermarket hoses. Um, what I'm going to do, I'll show you on another hose what I've done. Here I've put the part number there. So that just means I can identify it if we need to. The tranny, we've got a full buttoned up here pretty much. We're just wiring up the uh, solenoids, putting all the harnesses, the things that we need. We've checked all the end float on the bearings, they look good. Matt will be very proud of me. Look at this. Contact cleaner. So I'm going to do all the solenoids and the plugs. And that way you'll, and then I'll even blow them out with a bit of air. <laughs> He'll be very impressed, won't he? About the new hoses, will it? So. Where did you find that? It's so much more organised. <laughs> and you just find the hoses here. No, they didn't make an extra Yeah. So there you go, guys. You get an idea of what we're doing. And um, so thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy it. And keep uh, hitting the like button if you do. And we appreciate your comments. Only the good ones, but, but anyway, all the best guys.